Now, one of my most favourite things from Halo would be vehicles. I always just love the vehicle segments, and I love the controls, well, at least on PC, where all you have to do to drive is look at where you want to drive, and you pretty much go there. With Halo 2 adding things such as pressing the movement keys to help control what direction, instead of you being limited to the direction you're pointing at. But one of the things I've always wanted to know was what would the vehicles themselves actually be like if they were in first person? And today, I'm going to answer that. Now as you can see one of the first things is this obviously isn't any mainline Halo game. This is in fact actually Halo Online, more specifically the El Dorito mod. All you gotta do is click this button, put in camera dot mode space first. Press enter and you're done. Obviously there'll be no immediate changes, but you require it to actually do something that either enters a third person torrent or vehicle and as you can see the scope itself is already being marked up because of this we'll start off with the torrent as you can see the camera isn't positioned perfectly because you obviously got this little guard for it in the way and it, you seem to be just below the actual head but if you rip it off it seems to be that you're located more roughly where the head would be and I would this the actual reticle isn't the most accurate, but at longer distances, it seems to be pretty accurate. Now, as for the plasma turret, it seems to be the camera itself seems to be located right below the actual car itself. If I take it off, just like the you want to see turret, that reticle is as inaccurate as that, and straight onto the missile turret. This one seems to be located roughly about that where the head is, but obviously due to the position of it, you can't actually see directly where you're shooting at unless you take it off but like the other ones you can actually see what you're shooting at and the head positioned or the camera i should say is positioned position correctly now as for the flame thrower it appears to be the same as the rest of them and moving on we'll be moving on to this the actual plasma torrent or the shade torrent i should say and the camera seems to be positioned right where the actual stand for it is. Now we're going on to the corner, and as you can see, the camera appears to be located near the center, but sort of behind a bit. Now we'll be moving on to this variation, which I believe is called the light corner, and by the appearances of things, it seems to be the same. Now, as for the Banshee, it seems to locate you right below where the Spartan jumps in and obviously due to this I can't really see exactly where I'm looking at and a boost sort of helps but not really. Moving on, we'll be moving on to the normal Wraith followed by the anti-air Wraith. As you can see it seems to want to locate me right in the middle again. And if we hop out, I can check out Torrent, which actually seems to locate the camera roughly where the head would be. Obviously, it's not the most usable due to the fact it wasn't designed for this, and by the looks of things, the hands themselves don't actually move with the actual Torrent. And now we'll be going on to the entire air, which, as you know, really isn't obtainable normally, but obviously, due to this being Halo Online El Dorado, which is a mod, it's a lot more easier to do because I simply a forge object. As you can see, the camera itself is the exact same. And the torrent seems to be the same as well, where it's positioned correctly. Now we'll be moving on to the rest of the vehicles, which include these and all these, but I'll be starting off with the back row of these. Now we'll be starting off with the brute chopper, and as you can, as you can tell. It seems to be positioned just below the wheel, which I'd say be about here in the middle. Now as for the ghost, it seems to position you, I'd say, just in front. By the looks of things, it seems to position you right in the middle of those two little engine things on the ghost. Moving on to the mongoose, it seems to put you right in the centre, but actually 
in the mongoose itself. By the looks of things, this would be, I could say, would be a lot easier to drive. As you can see where you're going. Obviously not the most practical though. Moving on to this. As you can see, this is position here. The same as mongoose by the looks of things. As for the Prowler's Torrent, it seems to be positioned roughly the same location. Now we move on to the big boy tank. As you can see, it seems to be positioning you in the middle, just behind the actual spot where the spot goes, or the cage. And its torrent is positioned correctly for the first person camera. Now we'll be moving on to the Warthog and its variants. Now we'll start off with the Broken Warthog and by the looks of things it seems to position it, oh, I'd say near the where the actual end of the gun itself is. By the looks of things. Now as for the rest of these, they, most of them have the camera positioned like this in the middle of it for the driver's seat and the passenger seat seem to be pretty accurate. I mean, as you see here, the actual salt rifle displays zero, even though it shouldn't. And for these ones, it seems to position the... Well, oh, that's the wrong one. As for the passenger seats, this, in some cases, they'll be a little off. They'll, for the most part, be accurate. Now, the one that is different is the normal warthog. And as you can see, it seems to be displaying everything properly. So if I just turn around, I actually have made a small little track, nothing amazing, but it's a small little track in which I can show off a few things. One of the first things I want to show off is that when going up hills and all that, you really struggle to actually see where you're driving. And obviously that's due to it not actually being designed, but I'm just sort of pointing these things out. And obviously, this does function a little different. Feels a little more sensitive and whatnot. And see, obviously, due to it being first person and the way it's set up in this, the camera itself really isn't designed for this. So, obviously, if you to try and set this up for anything, you'd have to change it a lot. Now, with that smooth transition, we're moving straight onto the elephant. And if we enter it, it seems like the first person camera is position, positioned roughly where it would be when it's at its default position when entering and as for its turret yet again it seems to be like appears as if it's pointed at the um, end of the turret where the bullets would come out Now, as for the rest of these snow vehicles, which I uh, think they are, seem to have the combination of having the end of the turret where the camera is positioned, and as for the passenger seats, it seems to be positioned correctly, and for the driver's seat, it seems to be positioned in the middle, like the rest or the majority of them. And with the normal Warthog snow variant, the camera is yet again positioned in the middle, unlike the non snow variant. Now, as you've just seen, this is all the first person vehicles. If you do want me to try it out and see what I can do with other games, either write it in the comments or leaving a like. Either way would encourage me to make a few more videos on this. Also, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I hope to see you again soon.